parries. Now when she parries, it's really important that she doesn't parry away and down. She wants to parry across because she's going to reach up and by reaching her arm up over my shoulder, she's now trapped my arm in place. You don't let, after you parry, do not lose contact because you, she doesn't want me to be able to pull my hand back and block with my elbow. Go ahead. Because she's going to set up that knee, okay? Once again, you do this on both sides. On the second one, skip to throw the knee. Okay. He's going to throw his jab. <laughs> you know, I always get confused because it's a song. Okay, good. Now you're going to block out. And when you block out, come in and elbow attack to the shoulder. You're trying to break the shoulder. Please just go through the motions and don't actually break your partner's shoulder. <laughs> Once again, you do this on both sides. Now he's going to throw his cross. I block it out. Bam. Break the shoulder. Any questions? Let's go. A lot of you do traditional martial arts where the roundhouse kick is a snap kick. That wonderful, wonderful kick. I I really got my, my face busted up. I was fighting a Taekwondo guy, a good friend of mine, but we were sparring. And he literally ripped the corner of my eye open with a snap kick. It was, I thought it was awesome. It turned a really pretty color of green. And, and fortunately, it didn't bleed that much, and I didn't need stitches, thank God. But anyway, because I didn't have medical shoes at the time. Okay, so long story short, but, then, but the Muay Thai roundhouse kick, you swing your leg like it's a baseball bat. The kick, when you throw the kick, your leg is relaxed with the exception of your foot. You point your toes, okay? That is going to protect you from breaking your ankle or your foot when you make impact. When you kick, you are supposed to make contact with your shit. The reason why you point your toes is because nobody's dumb enough to stand there and take that kick. They're going to try to move. And when they move, a lot of times they move back and you wind up catching with your toes. And we don't want to break our foot, okay? So that aside, when you throw your kick, the first thing you do is step at an angle across. Because the kick is coming this direction, I don't want to step towards my target, I want to step across my target the same way that the kick is going. Stay on the ball of your foot. Notice that I'm swinging the kick with my hip. I'm not. It might look a little bit like I add a little bit of a snap to my leg, but that's just a that's just part of the, how the leg stays relaxed. It gives it that snap look. The snap comes from the hip. I drive my kick all the way through. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, everybody, look at that <laughs> Step across. An impact with your shin. Drive your hip through. Okay. Now what we're going to do is instead of worrying about blocking the roundhouse kick, what we're going to do is we're going to go right into a traps and counters. Okay. So Jen is going to throw her right kick right here in my ribs. The first thing I want you to notice is I don't stand still. And when she throws that kick, I don't just stand here and take that. Much better demonstration so you understand my point. Okay. When the kick comes, sidestep 
sport. So most of what I show you is going to be geared towards the sport. For instance, in Muay Thai, if you've ever watched a Muay Thai fight, you'll see a lot of that the fighters spend a lot of times kicking each other in the arms. In every single combat sport except Muay Thai, a kick to the arms is considered a blocked kick. In Muay Thai, it is not considered a blocked kick. That's considered a scoring kick. That was the score. Okay? Now mind you, it doesn't score as highly as if I had my guard here and she kicks me right there. Clean, clean kick to the body is worth more than a kick to the arms. But the kick to the arms still counts and you wrap up points in the match. When somebody tries to kick you in the arms, the hand reaches over and traps the heel, or the Achilles. Okay? I do that half step back again and push through. It's the Technique after my instructor, Master K. We call it the K block. 
Okay. 